Hey guys, and welcome back to Resident Evil Dead Aim. When we last left off, we managed to pick ourselves up the Silence Handgun, which is, well, uh, mm, not sure. It's slow and, <coughs> well, you know, uh, silent. And we also have a, a good amount of ammo now, so hopefully we can just blast away with very little fucks given. But we are going to try and be careful with our ammo. Because I'm really not sure how uh, far we can stretch our reserves. Right, you cannot open the door. But we have guns. Why can't we open these? Oh, hello. Evening. Gentlemen. Gentlemen, where are you? There's no point in hiding. There you are, sir. Why don't you come out and uh, introduce yourself? And there's something on that door as well, which is interesting. Can we... Oh, God, critical headshot. Get fucked. Oh. Why, well, hello there. Allow me to introduce myself. Uh, well, I would if I could, you know, get a bead on your brain box. No, okay, so we can't actually hit these guys when they're down which is unfortunate oh you're getting up take the ID card why yes please you getting up in there as well love oh fuck me okay we have a Jesus Christ we've got a zombie problem we've got a zombie problem uh, which is fine that just means oh god uh, dude dude seriously what the bloody hell's the matter with you guys? Honestly. Uh, we might want to clean out this area. Because this is our save area. Which, well, would you add an Eve? I kind of want to have a nice... Ooh. Clean escape if we need it. Ah, bollocks. Okay. Can you stop going out of the gun sights, please? Ooh. Wasting some rounds here. Come on, sir. S stop dancing with me. Okay. Oh, God. Okay, we're, we're wasting some serious bullets here. Which is not good. I, at least I don't think it's good. Oh, right in the throat, dude. Oh, in the brain. Right, can we? Oh, we can. We're on caution health, which... Definitely isn't great, if I'm honest. Right, brain munchers, where are you? There you are, you've seen me. Come on, love. Let's have a little dance out here in the hallway. Oh, right in the throat. Blew a chunk out of her bottom jaw. Think she's dead. Maybe she's not dead. Nope. I was gonna say they still uh, highlight, even if um, they're on the floor. So I'm not really sure. Okay. Probably didn't mean to waste. All of that ammo. Oh, you unlocked the door. Okay, so we can unlock some of these doors from behind, which is good to know. We've got zambles all over the place in here. What we like ammo-wise. Um. Yeah, well, I mean, it's not bad, I suppose. There's one there. Don't really want to have to play with him if we don't have to. Oh, he stumbled over. Bullets. Yes, please. Yes. 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 Give me the bullets. Okay. Feeling a little bit better now. Oh. Evening. There is a twice folded document here. Cool. Regular report number 1162 to HQ. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Oh, attention O'Neill. Investigation department. This will be my final report on Morpheus. For a while since it appeared... 
uh, appears that he is starting to suspect something. Until further notice from me, please refrain from contacting me so that I can devote myself to doing my regular job, uh, his aid. After robbing the lab in Paris, <laughs> after robbing the lab, I like that, that's so pedestrian, uh, Morpheus appeared to be preparing to board the cruiser to auction the items. His obsession with the beauty keeps escalating uh, and just recently he has undergone plastic surgery to retain his youthful looks. He often says questionable phrases like, I will eliminate the ugly things in this world and create my kingdom filled with beauty. Uh, we need to take action against him before it becomes too late, since he's currently in negotiations with several countries, including the United States. PT. Playable teaser, maybe? Um, okay, maybe that's why he was uh, so unhappy with our ugly gun. Right, um, where's that Zed? He's over there. This is a very dark game, actually. Oh, there's the explosive canister. So, we've got the key card. Which is nice. So, 201 is the one we've just been in. Cool. Let's get out of here. There's a zombie behind us. Oh, shit, he's got a wiggle on. Yeah, sorry, buddy, but uh, I need my bullets to kill things. And you're not one of them, I'm afraid. Now. So, we've robbed out this area. Let's go see if we can fiddle with anything down here. Do we have any zombies in here? Mm, the smell of rotting flesh in the morning. Mm -mm -mm. Right, let's give you a swipe. So, ah, there's zombies down there. I could see one, like, twitching. See one twitching? Oh, no, that was our gun twitching. Curious. Let's keep this gun close to us. All right. Let's get a sneaky. Sneaky, sneaky, sneaky. All right, Brucey boy. We've got a zombie ahead of us. Oh, God. Damn. Alright. Back the fuck up. Some of these... Some of these... Zombies are pretty mobile. Oof. Sorry, guys, but if you come at me like that, I'm going to have to put you on your ass. It appears to be closed. That's how Bruce does it. Now, I don't know if we can reload. Okay. Alright. I guess going out of our inventory, uh, or going out of shoot mode and then back into it, reloads for us. Which is a nice touch. I can appreciate that. Uh, it also tells us that doors are locked by the look of things, if we look at them sometimes. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe that was a glitch. I'm not sure. Oh. Alright, buddy. I'll be with you in a minute. You cannot open the door. Also, funny enough. Ooh. This game was built on... Oh, hello. Oh, God. This game was built on the id Tech 3 engine. Which I thought was quite interesting. Right. It also wasn't made by Capcom. It was published by Capcom. Ooh, good night. Yeah, you gotta feel that in the morning, fella. Okay. Anything else in here? Man, I mean, look at this place. This place was trashed. Like, hardcore trashed. Bloody hell. Do you know what we haven't found any of either? We haven't found any, uh, like, health restoration items. Which is bad, because, you know, probably gonna need them. At least at some point. Alright, where are we moving up to now? We haven't... searched all those rooms, right? Let's search all of the rooms in a certain area before we move on. I think that makes Resident Evil sense. You know, as much sense as you possibly can make. Uh, walking along these these halls of the ancient dead. The ancient dead? They're not exactly ancient dead, are they? The, the newly dead, 
I should say. I wish we could move whilst in that. Um, there we go. Shooty mode. Oh! Oh, God! Get out of here, sir. Seems to be locked. Alright, well, this one's not locked. Ah. Is that another gun on the floor? Maybe. Oh, there is a gun on the floor. Oh, the semi auto handgun. Okay. Um, I actually remember the semi auto handgun. I think it fires like. The weapon's fully loaded. Right, so we don't get any, like, blurb or any information. Oh, no, we do. We just got to wait. This handgun can fire bursts of three rounds at once. So, yeah, it's the Glock. Um, which is interesting. So, right. That's fully loaded, 15. I don't know whether I want to try this gun. Because, I mean, this one's doing fine. And we know what burst fire weapons do in these old Resident Evil games. That's right. They eat your ammo. So, I don't really want any of that business just yet. Oh, fuck. I didn't even see you in the corner there, sir. Oh, he oh he dropped ammo. He shot some bullets out of his pocket. Uh, Yes, we'll take the rounds. Okay, so ammo so far is not rare. But healing items, dude. Healing items are... Not common. Really not common so far. But I can't remember if they were uh, originally. Okay, I'm glad we didn't miss that room out. Both of those are locked. Locked. Right, so let's go to the hall. Let's not overlook the elephant in the room. Oh, any longer. Yes, it seems to be closed. There's like a small potted plant in the way. Bruce. You should be able to stand over that, Bruce. Right, carefully does it now. Ah. So, seems to be closed. Right. Quite. Okay, do we have a panel for opening the shutter? You see an umbrella symbol painted here. Right. Okay, so we need an umbrella key for that. I guess. Where haven't we been? We haven't been on the, the lower floors. It seems to be locked. Damn you and your locked doors. So, if we head down to the bottom, see what's down on the bottom floors. What do you think, Bruce? Do you think we have anything there? Ah, you know, actually. One thing I'm a little bit curious about seems to be closed. That's the entrance. We've got the kitchen. We haven't looked in the kitchen yet. Maybe there's something in the kitchen. Maybe we can go into the kitchen and through the dining room and all that kind of good stuff. Uh, yeah, through there. Because there was two doors that we unlocked. We only searched one. Are we clear? No, we're not clear. Alright, come on, Brucey boy. Go hunt these Zeds out. Let's see what sort of situation we got going on in here. Hmm. Not much. You gonna get up, sir? You're not gonna get up. So you disappoint me. Can we go to the pool deck? We can't. Lock from the other side. Okay, standard. Oh, where did you come from? Oh, yep, I thought I felt zombie breath on the back of my neck. Come on, Bruce. Aim, Bruce, aim. Jesus. Okay, aiming is a lot harder than you would think. Oh, no, 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 no. Okay. Yeah, aiming is significantly harder than you'd think in this game. It really is. Okay, okay. Come on, Bruce. Ah, that quick turn. That quick turn. Bruce, the quick turn. 
There we go. Come on, stumbles. Oh, man. These guys like their bullets. They really have a healthy appetite for 9mm. Oh, my God. Oh. Shit. That did not go well, Bruce. We need to exercise a little bit more caution, Bruce. Okay. Oh, hey, friend. I don't know why I'm running myself into a corner here. Come on. Now, uh, being patient and trying to go for a decent shot doesn't necessarily seem to be the smartest move in this game. Because these zombies, these zombies move so quickly. Oh, yes, thank you. Ah, much better. Yeah, these zombies move so quickly, I'm getting a little concerned that it's better to just rattle off rounds at them. Oh, we can go through here. Uh, oh, is this another save room? No, I guess not. We have hostiles. Yeah, we got hostiles. Alright, let's round them up. Is that more bullets there? I don't think that's bullets. Yeah, we know there's zombies over there. Is it worth switching up to the... Come on, love. Ooh, critical hit. Good night. Oh, hey. Hey there, fella. Ooh, another critical hit. Alright, maybe... Do you get, like, a higher chance to get a critical hit if the Zeds don't see you? It seems possible. Missed. Come on. Ooh, yeah, yeah, maybe. And there's another F8 spray there, which... Uh, yes, please. You know, I miss the F8 sprays. Did I just kill your husband? Oh, come on. Come on, man. Come on. Come on. Wasting way too many bullets. Oof. Wasting way too many bullets here. Right, so... Oh, she's up again. Bitch, come on. Cut me some slack. Do you know how rare these bullets are? Because I don't. Um, the key is sticking in the panel. Okay. Take the maintenance key, sure. Alright, well, I mean, I guess that's what we wanted. The lid slid away, revealing a pressurized hatch. There is a warning label on the hatch. Admin report. Uh, ninth, uh, 16th and 9th. Damn it, I hate the way that's written. 2002. We will begin the facility improvements today. The handle to open and close the hatch for pool drain on uh, first floor is quite rusty and should be replaced. We'll keep the current one in the storage of F1 just in case. So storage F1. Okay. Are we on floor one? I'm not sure. So we need to bust that shit open. I'm guessing we need to drain the pool. Is, can we actually get over there? Can't actually get over there anyway, so I guess not. Right, um, doesn't look like it really matters what way round we go, so I still want to check out the kitchen. I just looked over at my OBS and it said uh, zero time recorded, or zero time, and I was like, oh shit, but that's zero time streamed, that's fine, that's okay, don't give me heart attacks like that. Uh, okay, Brucey, how do you fancy a little look in the kitchen? What do you reckon, buddy? What do you reckon there's serve around here? Hopefully it's not human meat. Can't imagine what else they've served to humans. Served to zombies, I should say. Yes, I don't know what humans eat. Shit. 
Just almost slipped my secret out then. I mean, yes, I human. Okay. Just nothing in here? Really? What about in the microwave? Ah. What are those kitchens? Where the food depends on who's manning the microwave. Weather spoons all over again. Okay. Well, what is half of this stuff? Are they eggs? God knows. We've got red light in there. We've got actual massive cooking vats. Hmm. Maybe this is a soup kitchen. All they produce is soup. Oh, fuck. Okay, I was not expecting that. Dude, are you with me? I. Oh, God, this is going to be a shit show, isn't it? <gasps> a shotgun. Well, Bruce, boy. Oh, dear Lord. Oh, dear Lord. Bruce. Um. Yeah, wow, the PlayStation's tanking frames. Uh, you do not have the weapon that uses this ammo. Thanks, game. The weapon that uses this ammo is right there. Also, I have noticed that we only have six ammo slots in total. Yeah, we're having none of this. Nope. Uh-uh. Don't think so. As much as it would have been nice to waste all of those guys. Yeah. Oh. Let's get to the dining room. Yeah, we're, we're not wasting ammo here. And health for that matter. Right, anyway. Well, we have what we came for. So, I'm guessing. How many shells do we get? Shotgun. This wide area attack weapon is most effective at close range. Certainly has 14 shells. That's all we can hold. In one ammo slot. Oh boy. Alright. Well, no point crying to mama. It is what it is, I'm afraid. Uh, do we want to go all the way back and save it? Uh, yes, maybe. Maybe. Because we have limited save rooms, don't we? Yeah. Oh, I like that. Okay, so puzzles are like circled. Ah, right. There's the storehouse that we've heard so much about. Um. Yeah, I'm going to go save it because I don't really want to die. And have to do all that bullshit again. I mean, logic says there's probably a save room on either side of the ship. Does make sense to me in a sense making way. Yes, smooth, Titan, smooth. But I don't want to risk it. Especially playing on hard, you know? Oh, okay, I mean. Oh no, come on. That, what, what, what? Oh shit, what is this? This was a mistake. We accomplished spending more ammo and waking up the dead. But we didn't get killed. Also, those explosive weapons seem to be fairly useless. Or those explosive boxes, I should say. Killed like one zombie, maybe? I mean, come on. Uh, yeah. Right. Save it there. Now we've got to go back through the masses of undead, which is questionable at best. Right, all these motherfuckers are going to be up and hungry for brains now. All right, Bruce. I am a professional, Bruce, okay? Ah, oh, no, I think some of them are back to sleep. Uh, we did search this out, didn't we? Yes. Is there anything in here? I guess not. So we found two healing items so far. That's... Um, is that concerning to anybody apart from me? Right. Okay, so we can go either way here. It looks like all those zombies are 
going back to sleep. Which is good. Yeah. Now I'm feeling a little bit better now we've saved it. So let's go down. Let's go see if we can put the key in the hole. And make our way to... Yeah, we're not going to the pool deck. We're going back through the guest room. So we shall go through this door. I believe. Hopefully we're not going to attract the ire of the dead. And I have no idea, like, I, I still don't know how liberal we can be with our ammo. Like, can we just blast off rounds left and right? But, then that, but there's a tactical layer to it. Because every, you know, every type of uh, ammo looks like it takes up its own unique slot. You only have six slots to use. So I don't know if there's somewhere we can dump down ammo. I've also thumbed through the manual as well, and uh, there's nothing really uh, nothing really important in the manual, by all accounts. It's only about six pages long. Um, right, so let's start exploring. So that's the way to go. We can... Ah, right, we couldn't actually go through here. No. Wait. We couldn't go through here. Let's see if there's anything hidden on the other side. The game... Ah, right, okay. Um, this game is literally throwing weapons at us as well, which is, you know, okay. I like it. The handgun certainly does seem to be serviceable. The silence handgun, whilst in theory, is something. Ooh, nice bit of uh, tasteful artwork on the window. Or on the window, on the wall. Yes, the wall. So that's a thing that there certainly does exist. Uh, I guess all of these are going to be locked up. The door won't open. It appears to be shuttered from the other side. God damn it. What is it with shutters and locks and, you know, uh, fail safes on these bloody ships? And all of these fail safes and locks and shutters and all this stuff never actually stops the outbreak, does it? Never mind. Maybe this one won't be locked up. Doesn't look, yeah, I was going to say, it wasn't locked up from the other side by the look of things. Okay, right, so we have, we can go to the bar, the Seven Seas, or we can shoot on through to the storehouse. One of these, surely, I'm guessing this is locked. No, okay, I'm guessing... One of these has to be a save room. Well, I mean, it's not a save room as such, but there's stuff here. And we do like stuff. Uh, right, what I'm going to do with a handgun then. Let's load up all of our weapons. Handgun rounds taken. Right, so, okay. So if you take the handgun rounds, that uses the entire pack, even if you, um, even if that wastes some bullets, which I'm not the biggest fan in the world of, to be honest. There's a diary here. Uh, Freight Crewman Diary. August 27th. Tuesday, 2002. Yes, today is my 100th day anniversary since coming aboard. <laughs> oh, you're in for a treat, my friend. But that's all I can write about this since this place is so boring. I expected a lot because this is a luxury cruiser, but I've learned that there is almost no difference from working on a cargo vessel. September 4th, Wednesday. Finally, I have something to write about. Today, a large cargo was carried into the presentation room, which is beyond the boiler room. Recently, many people are going in and out of that room. I wonder what's taking place in there. Curious. Because the crew doesn't have access to that room. September 6th, Friday. I saw a red mark through a break uh, in the sheet of one of the cargo crates today. 
I think it's a symbol for a biological and chemical weapon. Somehow, passengers are still going in and out of that room. Maybe there's a hidden door in that room, but I'm not sure where it would lead. September 7th. My boss yelled at me today for not paying more attention to my job. What a jerk. But I better be more careful since I really need to keep this job. Yeah, well. My dude... I think keeping your job is the least of your problems. In fact, if you got thrown overboard, it, uh oh. Um. Don't remember that. Should have left by now. Somewhere in America. There's a kitten stuck in the tree. Just needing your help. Burn. Oh well. Thanks for the present. Funny girl. Well, you get banned. Oh. Oh, Ling! Um, yeah, uh, no one gonna mention the big big can that came no? Oh shit, we're Fong Ling now. Okay. Um cool. Oh, hey guys. Welcome to the party, pal. I do remember the fact that Fong Ling has a machine gun. Might I say a machine gun that feels absolutely and utterly inferior to the handgun in every single way. You know, because video games. Well, I mean, that's good. Yeah, so Fun Ling has a very fancy automatic weapon. Uh, oh, she, almost, she also has that. All right. Cannot be reloaded manually. Uh, why not? This special forces drum machine gun can fire a hundred round bursts. A hundred round bursts. I mean, yeah, that's a pretty significant burst. Ooh. Uh, hey, chaps. Oh, what is her running animation? What is that? Yeah. Um... There, oh, there's a note here, I guess. There's no time to check this. Yeah, oh, fuck this noise. Let's go. Come on, Fong. Alright, can't open that one yet. Yeah, I really should have checked the seven seas before we came in here. Oh, fuck. Uh, I guess that was probably a save room. Because it seems a bit strange that they've now thrown us into an area with a million zombies. Um, with a new, fresh character, and we haven't had the opportunity to save. Yeah, I'm going to chalk that up to a shitty decision on my part. And we're on 33 minutes as well. Uh, just, just pointing that out. Right, let's go. Let's go. Up and at him. Of course. Of course. Oh, hey, that was some severe dog shit. As soon as we get control pack, we get bitten. Uh, no. Uh-uh. Don't think so, mate. Right, okay, so... Because we're, like, out of time... Um, excuse me, love. No. Uh-uh. No, no. Oh, you bitch. Because we are really out of time here, I need to go back to a save room. You know, that is kind of the downfall of running emulation. Uh, Non-emulation systems. You hear the groans of zombies coming from beyond the door. You better not open this door. Well, brilliant. That's fan-fucking-tastic. Also, I wonder... Really? Shit. So, I guess... I guess we have to uh, just move on. Oh, you son of a bitch. Hey, 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 no, 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 uh-uh, no, 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 no. 
Uh, we're going to be shooting straight across up there. But guys, I'm going to have to cut this video off. Otherwise, we're going to have a 10 hour long video. So when we come back, we're going to keep charging along with Fong Ling here. And uh, well, hopefully we're going to survive. Otherwise, I've got a lot of game to replay. So thanks for watching, guys.